So this is what it is. Let's test it. I already have the negative tied in here. And I was looking for my breaker. I can't find it. For some reason, I ordered a breaker <clears throat> where I have a lever on it. I'm going to tie this thing guy here, the positive. It's going to arc because I don't have any resistor to do this. And I already have the series here. So I use, just use the red wire there. Positive goes to negative. Temporarily then I have the positive here. I have the negative here. So what I'm going to do, this thing all maxed out into 33 volts DC. But it takes 500 volts DC for solar. 33 volts on the battery. And this is a battery less as well. I forgot to mention that it's a battery less. So we set up this guy here. And let's see the voltage. I'm touching the positive. So let's see. Stay tuned. And touching the battery. 31.77. That's a Volkswagen e-Golf. Batteries, these are new ones. These are the 108, 108 amp hours. So let's check it out and try to put this thing. It's going to be arc, but there's a power button here. So um, just want to do a quick connect. It's not like all the professional look. It's just a test. So let's see if it's going to arc. I'm going to set this thing really high so you can see it. And I'm going to be touching that. See? Oh, let me show you. See the screen, make sure watch the screen and the terminal right here. I'm gonna be touching. It's gonna arc. Yeah, let's see. Now we have the batteries all connected in series. One of these module is a 12 volt module, 12 volt battery. So we charge up to about uh, 16.2 volt. Volkswagen A Golf. So the battery is connected, and we're gonna try and power up this guy right here, which is the MPP Solar, and see the power button. That's a good sign. It's beeping, and let's check the specifications here. It's reading. It's doing a countdown. And now it's showing that uh, it's putting 200 and, there you go, 230 volt. So it's showing the batteries are full. Seems like MPP already corrected this problem. Because before this meter was wrong. And uh, if you put anything, it's going to read really wrong. That's a charge, not charge, nothing. So right now the Bluetooth connectivity is already indicated right here. At 230 volt is pushing out right now at the input for the AC is zero and it says a load I think is by five percent because the fans are running constantly so I think it's in the default mode that um, let the fans run continuous unless you put in power saving mode by configuring it so what we're gonna do here now we have to test the uh, the power output so we're gonna move this slide this guy a little bit out and we're gonna set this um, get my probes here uh -oh. get my probes right now without a load it's continuous it's running continuously so we have to set this guy here into the AC so let's go this way Let's see right here and there. So it's reading 230 volts. Woohoo! It's working, guys. It's working. See that? So I have a bulb here, a light bulb. I want to test because uh, this light bulb I bought from the store. It can do from 120, from I think it's 90 something or 80 something volts all the way to 200 and something volts. Let's test it out and see if it's gonna work. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. It's pushing power out. Stand by. So before we carry out that task, I would like to show you 
the bulb uh, specifications here um, so that you guys think that I'm not crazy to put a 230 volt on a bulb that is one something. I don't know if you can read it. Let's see if that's the voltage side. Uh, there you go, guys. From 100 to 1 here. From 100 to 277, right there. Do you see it? Right here. There you go. From 100 to 277. So let's test it and let's see if it works. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use some um, wires. It is a projected light. We're gonna use some of these uh, clippers and clip from the AC side and bring it all the way out. All right, guys, we still have a voltage right there and we're gonna, I already uh, connected my suicide connection here. I'm not gonna show you that because it's dangerous. All I'm gonna show you is uh, the lamp right here. I'm gonna push the button on the side, it's gonna illuminate. There you go. So we have 230 volts. I can use it on a bulb that is uh, made in America or where I just got it at the store, Menards, that looks like Lowe's or Home Depot. That's why I got one. So I have these bulbs for international. They are projected light bulbs. So guys, let's see what the load is. So this is what it is right now. You see the power and um, I'm very careful here. That's the amps PV battery the wattage here. I don't think we pull in anything. Okay, the battery is saying uh, it's a 32 volt. Uh, 50 Hertz output load percent zero volt amp wattage so this bulb is very energy efficient so it's not gonna do it's not gonna indicate nothing and uh, here so just have to go through all the manual cut down into the um, the power running constantly supposed to be in a power saving mode that um, it's not gonna just keep running that's why some people normally say without doing anything the inverter can take up to about 70 so people 60 or 70 or whatever 30 they can say here's a battery so we know the system is working all right so at this point the inverter is running constantly and uh, look at the load right now it's taking. I don't know if it's accurate, but that's what it's saying. The fans are running constantly. So one is input and one is output. So this is the intake, here is the exhaust. I can feel the air coming out, uh, you know, it's pushing really hard. While this one, oh, okay. This fan is not running. Okay, this one is not running right now. Okay, I think the one is one running, or maybe this is for the solar. If it senses any of the uh, the inverter, probably um, the charge controller running or started generating heat, probably it takes the uh, um, the power or whatever the fan started turning or when it senses a load. I don't have any 230 volt uh, stuff here at the house. But um, I suppose the fan is um, it's spinning, but with my finger. But it's not running right now. Is there a concern? I hope not. I hope it's not going to be any problem. But I think it is the side for the MPPT since it has two the MPPT uh, in, uh, uh, charge controller. And this is going to be just the AC, sorry, the output. So taking cooling off the uh, components, you see the capacitors in there. So maybe that's why. So I don't know. I think probably 
that's how it runs so if you have any of these um, inverters let me know if that's how the, the um, that's how it runs it's only one fan running I would like to know so or else I have to contact um, MPP solar uh, due to what is happening here I don't know maybe it's normal but this fan run constantly maybe if we go on the settings here we can able to regulate tell the fan to go in power saving mode where it sends the load it keep running okay then that's the time um, the inverter is gonna run it's gonna be on search mode or I think it's set up with a default mode if you have a refrigerator some of you guys already know if you put a, a machine into power saving mode anytime you open like the fridge the voltage uh, the wattage is lower than 50 watts or something then the, the light flickers keep flickering 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 you can hear the, the tick 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 sound till I think it's set up on a default where it's supposed to do what it's doing right now anyway guys thanks for watching and uh, JW Solo USA um, we've just tested these